Uh, hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's Megan Little Tata, and today I'm going to be talking about cooking uh, because uh, uh, recently um, I've been making breakfast for myself like because usually for breakfast I'd have like protein uh, like a protein shake or comp plan. Usually my mom makes that for me um, but something I've realized is that, that that's not really fulfilling enough because I mean it's delicious, it's tasty but it's like that much and I don't feel satisfied afterwards so i've been making breakfast my mom's finally allowed me to make breakfast because like i'm 13 right and if you know me or if you know my mom you know that she's quite protective and i i wasn't really allowed to cook or be in the kitchen unless it was to grab snacks which i've stopped doing because i don't really like snacking um yeah i i remember when i was like seven or eight or something um i was at my nan's house and I always loved going to my nan's house because that's when I used to have ham sandwiches. And I actually got to make my own ham sandwiches. And I thought that was so cool because I got to use an, a knife to cut the crust off. You see, like, the knife? It wasn't, like, a serrated knife, right? It was It was more of a, like, like there was a handle, right? And then it had a... It was quite flimsy. Um, How do, how, how do I describe it without making it sound phallic? Um... But it it looked phallic, it was flat though. It was it was very thin. But yeah, I've I've been making for breakfast. Um, I learned how to make poached eggs on toast. I made that for my breakfast this morning, and the other morning I had jam on toast, um, which is cool. Except it wasn't like actual toast. I don't like toast. Mm mm. It was just warm bread. I remember the like the other year. Um, I was in class. And the teacher, she put up a diagram of different kinds of toasts and it was like a grid or something and it had like um, one, two, three, you know, ABC down there, right? All the way down. And then it had like different kinds of like toasts ranging from like really dark burnt toast, like absolutely like black toast to just bread. And we had to go around in a circle and share what our kind of favorite, uh, what our favorite toast was according to the diagram. Um, I was the only kid that said that I liked A1 because that was like the lightest. It was it was just bread. I don't like toast. I think that it's crunchy and that's weird. The only things that are allowed to be crunchy are um, granulated sugar and apple crumble. And yeah, guys, I did actually make apple crumble the other day. Well, I mean, I didn't really make it. You see, what happened was, like, my parents, they were, they were outside doing, um, car washing, and I was inside, and I had to make apple crumble, because I was craving apple crumble, because I love apple crumble. Um, so, I, I had just peeled the apples, and then I had chopped them up, and put them in a pot. That's all my mom had instructed me to do, because I'm not allowed to do any of that, and or use the oven without her supervision. Um... So yeah, I did that, but then I got sidetracked and I ended up um, doing watercolour art, like watercolour pa- I, I ate waffles. I did a watercolour drawing of waffles, painting of waffles, and it's beautiful, and I love it. Uh, lately, I've been helping my mom make dinner. Um, I've been at, like, five when she makes dinner. Um, I go down to the lounge. Or the kitchen lounge it's it's like the same room basically um and i go there and i supervise her um not that she needs supervision but i it's, i think that it would be a good school to have to watch her cook sometimes i do some stuff like drying the pans because the, the, the pans they can't go in the dishwasher but i don't really i don't usually do that because i think that that's boring not not like drying stuff. I, I enjoy drying stuff, just not pans because I don't like the shape of them and I don't like having to dry. They're like too big. Too big. And I, I don't like having to wash. I mean, to dry them. Um, also, guys, I'm, I'm genuinely feeling so sad. Um, you see, I just found out that three days ago, Andy Biotech posted a new TikTok video. I looked through the comments and he was replying to all of the comments that were posted the day that he made the video. The, po the day that he posted the video, like he was responding to the new comments. And if you know Andy's posting schedule, you know that he posts once every... Never, practically. I mean, so I, I guess that I'll just have to wait till next, till next year. Then, oh. 
he might post again. And I could, I could leave a comment and perhaps he could reply to me and that would make me feel so happy. But yeah, that was all. Um, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye-bye.